anxietycenter.com. So when you were looking for help at that time, what motivated you to, to join anxietycenter.com? Yeah, I mean, I uh, did a lot of Google searching at the time. Um, and uh, it was interesting because at the time I was struggling quite a bit with kind of being afraid for my health. And I think that's one of the ways that my anxiety kind of manifested itself as I grabbed onto tangible things. Ooh, that pain. Ooh, that ache. What is that? It could be this and that thing. And I was doing a lot of searching on um, health anxiety, how to overcome health anxiety. And, um, you know, through the process of Googling, I came across the Anxiety Center and I, I did a little bit of exploration and I saw that, you know, this of all the sites that I've been on uh, seemed like, um, you know, very professional, uh, very thorough. Uh, there was a lot, very wealth of information available there. Um, I took a look at the counselors that were there, and and uh, you know, it, it was great to see. Uh, I, I haven't really come across anything else where it was sort of something similar to the anxiety center, where you had you know a, a very a, you know eight, nine, ten more counselors who um, all share the same. Uh, background, i.e., they they have a struggle with anxiety themselves. That was something a bit unique, mm-hmm. um, and um, it just appealed to me as as uh, a good fit. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, and um, you know, I I think if I could put my finger on any particular aspect of it, I think it was the the fact that the coaches that were um, listed on the site had all gone through anxiety themselves, mm-hmm. and that really kind of piqued my interest. Um, and in hindsight, I think that was an excellent decision. Mm. Oh, great. And so obviously it's worked for you. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> so where do you, you know, zero, zero to 100%, where do you think you are in terms of recovery? Oh, I don't know. I mean, um, uh, you know, in terms of <clears throat> uh, attaining what I feel is a um, quote-unquote normal or healthy state of being, mm-hmm. I, I think I'm there. Mm-hmm. I mean, um, like I said earlier, uh, what recovery looks like to me is very different probably from what recovery looks like from others. Uh, I don't know. Um, it's definitely very different from what I imagine it would be like. Um, um, but what I feel now is that I previously, you know, I mentioned that I had good periods in my life and bad periods in my life. Um, and I think the biggest difference before I had spoken to the anxiety center and quote unquote recovered and, and, and now is that, um, before I was, I was, I felt good in the good times when there weren't significant challenges in my life. You know, when things were on an even keel, then it would be okay. You know, mm-hmm. I'd cope all right with the mechanisms that I had, and you know, things wouldn't bother me too much, and uh, I, you know, I'd feel pr- pretty good. Um, but then when things got a little bit more difficult, you know, stress at work or life changes like changing home or you know, things that people face all the time. Um, then, then I would fall to bits because I wouldn't know how to handle that stress, you know, um, and I'd be afraid of the symptoms that the stress caused. Mm. Whereas now, um, I can cope with, or I, I guess I accept the reality that life is not always consistent and there are challenges all the time that you have to deal with. Mm-hmm. Um, and even in the times that previously would have caused significant problem for me, you know, facing challenges, um, I'm able to cope with it now. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, and that's not to say that I enjoy things that go wrong or enjoy negative challenges because nobody does, but I think I deal with them in a more healthy way. Mm-hmm. And that's that's a quite a big difference, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, that was the same with me when I recovered. I just noticed I managed my life way differently. It doesn't mean we don't have problems. It does. And it doesn't mean sometimes we don't get upset because of them. We do, and we can but we manage the stressors and we manage them in a completely different way, which really eliminates the notion of anxiety disorder because now we're coping in healthy ways as opposed to unhealthy ways. Exactly. Yeah. Well, that's, those are great comments. And uh, what other final comments would you like to leave with our listeners about your experience? Yeah, I mean, um, the biggest thing I think um, that I learned through the process is that you have to be patient. And uh, well, I guess there's two things. One is that you have to be patient. Um it's really important to take the time and give yourself time to recover and to learn the things that you need to learn because it's a, it's a long process. It can be, uh, not for everybody, but some people might recover really quickly. But I, w- I would think that in, in, in many cases, it, it does take time. Um, uh, and in order to have that patience, you need to have, you know, work on that skill of acceptance and be able to accept that, you know, this is the way I feel right now. Um, it's not the way I'm going to feel forever. 
and being able to accept the way I feel now will help me to feel better in the long run. Uh, you know, trying to fight it, figure it out, uh, it'll just make it worse and you'll just get more and more stuck. Mm-hmm. Um, and the second thing is, at least for me, listen, if you, if you, um, if you have made the choice and I would recommend it to everybody to, to talk to a coach or counselor, um, listen to what they have to say because, you know, at least for me, um, I've always kind of, I think that's one of the issues that I had before is I thought I knew best, you know, mm-hmm. um, and you filter what people say to you based on your own experiences, you know, so if, if a coach says to you, oh, you got to accept or, you know, you, you, this maybe behavior isn't the best or maybe you should think about it from this angle. I, I always had a tendency to think, ah, oh, he doesn't know how I really feel or that doesn't really apply to me. Uh, that may not work for me, mm-hmm. but listen and, and give it a try because, um, that thing that makes it unique in the anxiety centers that the coaches have gone through it, they have recovered and they know what works. Um, so, you know, tap into that experience and, and give it a chance. Um, because I think most people will find in hindsight that having gone through it, that what the coach was telling you was right. Um, and that it does work. Um, and at the very least, uh, one, most people know that what they're doing now doesn't work. So, uh, uh, you know, it's worth giving a shot to something different, even though it may doesn't doesn't seem like it makes a ton of sense to you at the time. Mm-hmm. That's good advice, because you know <laughs> we do interact with a lot of different kinds of people, and we find the people who really dig in and work at it succeed. But then, you know, I guess you're right; everyone has their beliefs and things, and it's the ones who are hesitant who actually don't apply it because they think they know better. Don't well, it's for good reason because our unhealthy behaviors is still there and they still cause problems. So you, uh, that's, a, that's a great comment. You know, I have to, you know, based on. The comments and the small amount of time I've talked with you, you really do have a good understanding of what's going on. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm thrilled that you found help and your life's back on track and you're experiencing rewards of it. And again, it certainly is a testimony to you in terms of hard work because, yeah, it's not easy and you've done it and uh, you're going to experience this success. And you'll also be able to pass it on to your family, too, because you'll have those tools and you'll be able to teach your kids those as well, which is great. Yeah, for sure. When you were sick with anxiety, where do you think your quality of life experience was? Zero to one hundred percent. Oh, uh, I would go up and down, but I would say you know between thirty and fifty or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Because one of the things you know when you hear people who have recovered, a lot of people who are suffering think, "Well, that person never really struggled very hard." Yeah. You know? But you know when you live it, you know you really struggle hard. I know. I just you know my life or quality of life experience was probably less than five percent a lot of the time when I was struggling, just because my life was so restricted. It was awful and. Uh, again, when they hear you succeed and confident and all that, they just don't make the connection of how bad you struggle, but we often do, hey? Yeah, uh, for sure. I mean, you dig yourself into a hole. Um, and, um, you know, it's it, it's it's hard for anybody who hasn't gone through it to imagine how it feels um, mm-hmm. because it's not rational. And, 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 you know, if you approach it from a rational perspective, somebody who hasn't experienced it, say, oh, how could you allow yourself to get to that place or how, how could you see life in that way? It's so warped. Mm-hmm. Uh, but but when you're there and you f- you're experiencing those feelings, then um, then uh, it's not rational. It doesn't make sense. But but in the moment, it makes the perfect sense to you. Um, but when you look back on it, you can you realize that you know those the ways that you were approaching things and the uh, the uh, perspectives that you had were were way off uh, and, and causing you know so much stress that that uh, that contributed to that anxiety. I mean, it really, it, it's very easy to get stuck in it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And especially we find, too, that anxiety personalities are often very creative and intellectual. So we think a lot. And so for us to discover that our thinking is actually unhealthy is quite a shock. At least it was for me. <laughs> I yeah, thought, yeah, for sure. Yeah. I thought I had everything under control until I realized, oh, my gosh, I never even realized I did most of those things. So it's 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 a nice change to be able to make those changes. The other thing, too, your success speaks of is the support of your loved ones, because, as you know, it's also hard on them going yeah. through anxiety. Yeah.